Hi everybody, and thank you so much for watching, and welcome back to Skyrim. Uh, this is going to be my last video for the day, at least, because I have a lot of videos that I need to edit. And I, I really need to get to work on that, because I'm not going to have time for like the next six days, and I really need to get more videos posted on my channel. But, um... I'll see how far I can get in this episode. But this is Alduin's Wall. We made it. We're getting there. For God's sake, would you hurry up? Alduin's Wall, so well preserved. I've never seen a final example of early second era Kavir sculpture in relief. Esmer, we need information, not a lecture on art history. Yes. What is wrong with my eye? Get punched in the eye or something? God damn it, stop. It's all swollen. Still look awesome though. Still look awesome. Look, here is your friend. This man goes back to the beginning of time. When Alduin and the Dragon Cult ruled over Skyrim. Here, the humans rebel against the Dragon Overlord, the legendary Dragon War. Alduin's defeat is the centerpiece of the war. You see, here is fallen from the sky. The Nord Tom's masters of the voice are arrayed against him. So does it show how they defeated him? Isn't that why we're here? Ah, patience, my dear. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in allegory, mythic symbol. Yes, yes. This here, coming from the mouths of the Nord heroes, this is the Akaviri symbol for shout. But there's no way to know what shout is meant. You mean they used a shout to defeat Alduin? You're sure? Hmm? Oh, yes. Presumably something rather specific. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Or even Holy Alduin crap. This is God damn it. So we're looking for a shout, then. Damn it. Have you ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? Nope. I was afraid you were going to say that. I guess there's nothing for it. We'll have to ask the Greybeards for help. Yep. We hope to avoid involving them in this, but we have no other choice. Yeah, because you hate everybody so much. If they had their way, you'd do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about it. Have they tried to stop the Civil War or done anything about Alduin? No. And they're afraid of you, of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septum. Do you think In my own personal opinion, this is an excellent example of modern ignorance. That everybody thinks that everybody else should have everything to do with everything. And, I mean, it's it's just ignorance. Like, she's saying, well, what have they done to stop the Civil War? What has she done to stop the Civil War? You know, like, it, just, uh, uh, yeah. Only if you don't know how to use it. All the great heroes... I don't know. Delphine is easily one of my least favorite characters in the game. Yeah, the Greybeards are annoying to me. They're annoying as shit. But, I mean, god damn. Like, I, I freaking hate Delphine. She's just ignorant as shit. She's so ignorant, and I hate it. I just, I can't fucking stand it. Yeah. Right. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Not likely they'd help Esbern or me if we came calling. Shut up. Around Skyhaven Temple and all she does is bitch. Left for us. It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. Talos guard you. Yeah, thanks. Shut up. Here, in the third panel. The prophecy which brought the Kaviri to Tamriel in the first place. In search of the Dragonborn. Here are the Akaviri, the blades. You see their distinctive long swords. Now they need their ancient mission fulfilled. As the last dragonborn contends with Aldrin at the end of time. 
Are you paying attention, Delphine? You might learn something of our own history. Well, so there you go, guys. That's all doing as well. Got a nice little story to it. So let's get to this. So now I gotta go back and visit the Greybeards and convince them to help me. And this is where you guys are going to see the rest of the mountain. I just have I, I have to convince them first. You'll you'll see. You'll see. But I think I'm gonna I, I think I know where I'm going to finish this episode too. It'll be a good uh It'll be a good twist for you guys, because everybody. No, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to say anything. It's going to ruin it for you guys. I'll just let you all be shocked. Let's see. Well, that that's for anybody who hasn't already played this game. But um. It's so convenient having fast travel. I don't have to walk up that mountain every damn time. And I didn't even know about fast travel until the second time I had done the storyline. It started a whole new game. Oh my god, did it save me so much time. It was terrible. Because I thought you had to walk everywhere. And I was just like, why the hell would you ever make a freaking game like that? There you are. Win. Your training proceeds well, Dragonborn. We need to learn the shout used to defeat Alduin. I'd like to learn more about the boys. What does it mean to be Dragonborn? Why are shouts in the dragon language? I guess it's that one. Did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? Doesn't matter. It was recorded in Alduin's wall. The plate tell me find out that. Yes. Matters of such gravity, we need to know where you stand, or who you stand with. Who I stand with is my business. If you wish to stand alone, so be it. If you wish for our help, you will answer my question. Goddamn old ass man. I swear to God. Where did you learn of a shout used to defeat Alduin? Blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bound. They have always sought to turn the dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the blades to be used for their own purposes? Uh, that's a tough one. At least the blades aren't keeping secrets from me, or the blades are helping me. I'm not their puppet. Yeah, I'll do that one. No, no, of course not. Forgive me, Dragonborn. I have been intemperate with you. But heed my warning. The blades may say they serve the Dragonborn, but they do not. They never have. So can you teach me this shell? No, I cannot teach it to you. Because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. I thought you knew all the words of power. What's bad about Dragonrend? If the shout is lost, how can I defeat Alduin? Only Partalnax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. Who is Parthernax? And this is where we're getting into it. He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. I need to speak to Parthernax then. You weren't ready. You still aren't ready. But thanks to the blades, you now have questions that only Parthernax can answer. 
He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. How do I get to the top of the mountain to see him? Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to path of action. All right, here we go. So for you guys who, if anybody had trouble following it, Parthenax is the leader, kind of like the head honcho. He's the fifth member of the Greybeards. And when I first met Parthenax, my mind was blown because I didn't expect what was coming to happen. And you'll see what I mean. Where the fuck are you guys going? This? Oh. I didn't know there were doors there. Yeah, my, my mind was blown when I learned who Parthernax was. You guys might have the same reaction, who knows? Man, what is it with people in this game just walk slow as fuck? <sighs> That's okay, take your time. Got all the time. Got nothing but time. Move. I would use the unrelenting force to like push them forward, but they're so old and decrepit, I don't know if they'd be able to get back up. Come on, go. Oh my god. The path to Parthenax lies through this gate. I will show you how to open the way. Okay, so before he does that, I'll show you this real quick. If you go up these stairs and you try to travel through this gate first, it pretty much freezes you. Alright, so let's learn this. Yeah, and he actually teaches you all three words at first, because if you only know one or two of them, you get one or two. Is that... And the third one, there's that. All right. My understanding of clear skies. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. So the shout is called Clear Skies, and it's actually very, very useful, not just to open this gate, but there's actually other areas in the game where you will have things like this. Or there's, like, really dense fog. And the fog is so thick that you can get disoriented, not know where you're going, shit like that. And clear skies is definitely one of those things that help a lot. I have night eye, improved night vision for 60 seconds. When did I get that? Oh, I probably have that because I'm a Khajiit. You know, cats can see awesome in the night. That's cool. Okay, so there's clear skies. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. Alright, here we go. So I'm gonna stand right here. There we go. Now, it's not permanent. It, it is timed, but you typically have plenty of time to do it. See, like this. So you got really dense fog right here. And that'll clear it out for you. And it's really dense. See, and I'll show you what it is. See, and, and you'll take damage too. But that's just in this area. Typically, fog doesn't do that. But. What the fuck? I don't know what that was. Strange. Shut up. Alright, there we go. Uh, uh, don't fall off the bridge. Don't fall off the bridge. There we go. Okay, that's a nice race. You guys finally get to see one. 
Not much. I got my arrow back. <laughs> like that. Is there anything in here? Ice Wraith Essence. Resists 20% of frost damage for 60 seconds. Uh, I think I'll hang on to that. There's another ice wraith up here. Oh, no, it's a troll. There's a freaking frost troll all the way up here. Come on, motherfucker. Come on. Come on. Come here. I can't see you. There you are. Come here. Come here. I just want to just wanna give you a hug. There you go. Here is... Hmm. We're getting there. Look how high up I am. This is freaking ridiculous. Go. Hello, go. Okay, we're almost there. God damn it. Give me a loon. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Gotcha. Still going. We're almost there. Here's the final passage. And right at the top of this is where Parthenax is. And... I'm going to stop right there. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. On the next episode, you guys will see who Parthenax is. But until then, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next episode of Skyrim. Bye, everybody.